Let's chew on an idea. The number line. A number is an idea about a certain amount, big or small. We can write them in lots of different ways. These are all about the number three, an idea. We can also show how numbers relate to each other. One way to do this is a number line. It's like a map of numbers. We use the idea of a number line whenever we use a ruler. It's got all the numbers in order except zero, which would be here, and it goes from small to big, left to right. Or a thermometer. This shows numbers above and below zero. Now mathematical number lines have to be straight. So use a ruler or something with a straight edge to make them. We'll use horizontal and vertical number lines. The arrows at both ends means that numbers can go on forever. They're ideas. Up or down, forward or backwards. A number line has a starting point called the origin. Zero. Since number lines go on forever, it can be anywhere. But I'm going to put it right here near the left edge so we can focus on the whole numbers above zero. Here's an important idea for math and numbers. The difference or distance between one number and the next has to be consistent. So the distance between zero and one is the same distance as between nine and 10. And if we're measuring with the same units, cups, miles, inches, dollars, it has to be the same distance between 9,999 and 10,000. Now to get past the arrow all the way to zero, we'd have to go a long way. And we can make our units any size we like. This number line just has zero and one. Can you imagine where the two would go? Can you think of places it shouldn't go? Here? I don't think so. Your second mile is way too big. One mile should be the same amount. This is more like where that two should go. Find the missing number. We don't have to have the zero on the line at all. It's back here somewhere. Can you figure out which numbers are missing from this line? We can find them by counting. 28 is after 27 and before 29. We keep counting to 31, 32, 33 to fill in the rest. Now number lines are going to take some thinking, and our next lesson will have numbers under zero. Have fun.